Hi, welcome to Mag Matt's channel. So, just a quick video, not so much for my current viewers, even so I do do the odd occasional technical thing. Um, there's a rant going about Weller Solden irons. Basically, Dave Jones' video, I'm going to link below, it dismantled his, well, didn't dismantle, had to dismantle his Weller unit, which puffed up in smoke. This is just a confirmation video because I have of these cheap knockoff solder irons, i.e. I have uh, this thing here. It's meant to be, I can only assume it's the Heiko. Uh, it's got an LED display and all that. Anyway, just to confirm on that one, this here is the on-off switch and just next to it here is a fuse on the input. So yes, even the cheap knockoff ones can do a fuse on their unit, you'd be happy to know. Well, uh, Brand name one, you might want to put a fuse on your solder nines. This is a hint. Ah, anyway, thank you very much for this very brief video here. Uh, thank you for watching on that one. I mean, if you really want me to go more into details on the solder nine, do comment below. But I don't do many electrical things. I do various bits. I do unboxings. I do product reviews. I do the odd occasional little electronical thing. But it's not one of my main points of my video channel, but you can see it like that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you're wondering about the difference with the camera, I thought I'll go and try using a GoPro instead of my DFSL camera. So if there's a sound difference, I do apologize on that one too. It was just a simply easier and quicker for a little video. And yet again, just to make it more obvious, there's a fuse there on the input. Yeah. Good job, Weller. Not. Cheerio.